some of my friends in the conservation lobby on this subject. Yes, a decision has had to be made, but we are being transparent to the point where if you've got a, a better way to do it that takes into account the taxpayer costs, the time costs, the operation costs, and the fact that no land is being taken other than the feet of the pillars, because the other options would have taken a lot of land, I think it's the best way to do it. And we should lay it out and, and take it. Thank you, friend, at least the facts. <laughs> you are sitting by at us to propose it. A billion dollars. Huh? That's what I would say with respect. Now, we can't involve every conservationist and every lobby group in making every decision inside a national park. <coughs> You know that. Think of your family. You can get everybody on the table as to whether you should take one car or two to the zoo. Uh, but what about our constitution? Our constitution represents the entire country. You are simply flouting our right to a clean environment. No. You should be flouting our, the regulation that an EIA should be conducted before a decision. Can you answer that? Yes, I can. I'm quite familiar with the Constitution, actually. We were writing it before you were old enough. I think you're mistaken. Right. The Constitution clearly states that it is very clear what the Constitution was, was, and I believe everything the KWS and the railway think are within the bounds and, and limits of the Constitution. Yes, lawyers and, and activists can query that, but the point is we are not dirtying the park. What we are doing is putting a railway line across it, above it, and we are, what we are doing, yes, I can tell you that, we are offending the eyesight. People who want to look across the park into Madagascar will see a railway line. That means so what? We have to have a railway line, brother. Yes, we do. But we do not have to do it at the expense of our, of our constitutional rights, at the expense of our national heritage, at the expense of our... Of our my name is Kamwek. I'm a private citizen. I'm upset that our government, my government, is not following the rule that's been laid down. Well, as you know, in the Constitution, there's a way a private citizen, and I was too until I was dragged back to the chairman, uh, can redress their complaints. Um, it's not for me or mine are here to answer you in detail. We know two concerns. No, last. I think that with this court, the law also allows you, there will be stakeholder engagement. You are free to participate. So your rights have not taken away, but your rights also to infrastructure is also being implemented. So there has to be that balance. So your, your views will be uh, submitted, will be accepted, and uh, I think the forum for this is still available for you.